The CDC has released new guidance for reopening schools amid the pandemic, but with its schools already open, Florida doesn't intend to follow it. As Jake Stofan tells us, the governor called the new guidance a disgrace and said it's based on politics and not science. New CDC guidance establishes four designations for school reopening based on case rates over the past seven days. Of Florida's 67 counties, all but Franklin County fall into the red category, which recommends fully virtual middle and high school learning. That is a disgrace. That is not science. Governor Ron DeSantis denounced the CDC guidelines. That is putting politics and special interests ahead of what the evidence an observed experience says. Florida's largest teachers union says the guidance is just that, guidance. It's not mandatory. Andrew Sparr, president of the Florida Education Association, says in many instances, Florida isn't even implementing the most basic steps recommended by the CDC. And while most schools have math, I don't know of pretty much any school district right now that can socially distance. I don't know of any school district that's doing regular testing and contact tracing to stay ahead of it. But the governor points out Florida is excelling under the way schools are currently operating. 33 states have more cases per capita than, than Florida uh, for children per capita. And many of those don't have a lot of in-person instruction in school. And the governor was clear in his message. In Florida, schools will stay the course and continue offering in-person learning so long as he's in charge. Reporting from the state capitol, Jake Stofan, Channel 4, The Local Station. The governor also scoffed at the Biden administration's plan to include $100 billion for safely reopening schools in a federal relief package. But FEA says Florida should take the money and use it to install ventilation systems, pay for cleaning, and close achievement gaps made worse by the pandemic.